Hey, Dudu, what are you doing here? You need something? No, but I must ask, what are you doing here? Just, you know, making sure all the equipment's in good shape. With how rough yesterday's battle was, I figured it couldn't hurt to round up all the weapons that got broken and try my hand at fixing them. I see. Sorry, should I not have taken them out at night or something? You're giving me this look like you don't trust me. You have His Majesty's trust. I will not lay a hand on you. But I would like to better understand who you are. <sighs> Makes sense to me. I'm still just a newcomer, and my background's unclear at best. My apologies. Nah, it's fine. I'd be suspicious of me too if I were you. Besides, I don't exactly want to go losing my employer either. So feel free to keep as many eyes out as you think necessary. Dimitri clearly needs all the help he can get. I mean, he made me a commanding officer without so much as a second thought to my past or my intentions. Yet that conviction makes people follow him. And I agree with his decision. Having you close by is convenient. What, so you can keep a better eye on me? It doesn't really matter. As long as he's paying me, I'll do whatever I've got to do to win for him. Oh, and if I do anything suspicious, you're more than welcome to cut me down right then and there. A very mercenary response. Well, yeah, that's what I am. I might have risen the ranks, and I might have my own unit now, but I'm still a merc at heart. As long as I get the results, everything else, like trust and respect, will follow. At least, that's what my old Captain Burling taught me. So I guess I don't have much choice but to just keep at it till I earn your trust. I see. Now, these weapon repairs will take time. Allow me to aid you. You sure you don't mean keep an eye on me? <laughs> Glad to have your help, though, Dudu. 